Hello, Holly Molly people. We are here in a swanky uh, gallery in St John's Wood. Uh, oh, Marylebone. Marylebone. Right, we're in Marylebone, sorry. St John's fucking wood. Obviously, if you're anybody who's anybody, you've been watching Four Rooms on Channel 4, which is the sensation that's sweeping the TV nation. And we are here with the star of Four Rooms, the Salmonizer, Mr. Jeff Salmon. Yes, so you're, you're the kind of, you're the, you're the hipster David Dickinson. Would that be fair to say? You know, no one's ever described me as that. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm the hipster David Dickinson. No orange. No orange. Uh, is there any rivalry between you and the, the Dicko, as we like to he call him? He couldn't afford my rivalry. No. no. Have you ever come across him? Once. Not literally. Uh, uh, it's, it's you, you started off uh, with a company called Multitone, right? Who were the inventors of bleepers. So, in a way, you were the forefather of, uh, of, of, of making, making, the, making drug dealers have, have, a, have a fantastic way of doing business. Yeah, yeah, again, hadn't thought about it like that, but yes, pleased to help all you... Uh... Well, until until Page Go Mobiles came out, that, that was the only way, wasn't it? Rappers and, uh, and drug dealers are the main, and doctors still use beepers. Are, are my homeboys listening to this? They probably are, so have a, sh have a shout out to the homeboys. Homeboys, you're listening? We'll teach you to deal. So you went to the Sotheby's in the 70s, yeah. started off as a filing clerk, and then ended up being a valuer, yep. right? Uh, you left there and became a window cleaner. Okay, you've got to be a chameleon. You'll see, you're gonna have tough times, you're gonna be hard, you're gonna have good times. What you cannot do is to trust that it's always gonna be good times. Yep. And interestingly enough, up to about probably 10, 15 years ago, I still had people telephoning me, yeah. saying, can I speak to Mr. Window, can I, can I speak to uh, Mr. Jeff who's the window cleaner? But you're a bit of an entrepreneur anyway, right? So, yeah. so aside from, uh, what's the name of this place, Decatur? Decoratum. Decoratum. You also run an insurance loss adjusting company. Is correct. You also run Roller Ramp. .co.uk, which provides ramps for the disabled. Yes. They also run a search engine optimization company. Big time. Get me to the top of Google. Yeah. Get um, me to the top of Google. So what on earth made you kind of get involved in that? Okay, once a week, sometimes twice a week, we are bombarded by people that are saying, we will get your website to the top. Yep. The, uh, we've got six, seven websites, and nearly every single one of them, whether it be for insurance claims, whether it be for vintage furniture, we are at the top or second for yeah. everything. They'd made no, they made no effort to see who we are, yeah. and then we thought, hey, if we can do it for us, we can do it for other people. The vast majority of people that do search engine optimization generally, are generally students yeah. who are working from their bedrooms who haven't or, got a bleeding clue. Or they do black hat SEO. Which, which uh, and uh, I'll let you explain black so hat. So black hat SEO is the naughty SEO. And if, if White hat. Yeah, his white hats go with his, his, his black hair. It would have been rude to us, for us not to try and uh, soak up a bit of your expertise and your knowledge. Fine. Uh, so I've brought some objects in from the office. Now this um, is an innocuous looking item, it's quirky, it's, it's funny. You uh, with a young, uh, what's his name, uh, a young Jonathan Ross on? Well, it's, it, it could well be a young yeah. Jonathan Ross. It's actually Alistair Griffin, who is one of the finalists in Fame Academy in the right. early noughties. And he's now in, a, in, in the business of, of, of making prize winning lemon curd. This is an original prop from the film Fight Club. We have this, which is a, which I think will go down as, as one of the one of the most treasured artifacts of pop history in the, from the 90s, uh, from the 2000s rather. Um, have you ever heard of the band Razorlight? You're not talking about my customer, Johnny Borrell, who lives down the road. Whoa, hold Guys, on. 50 fucking eight, but I cannot, I, I'm up with the rest of them. And well, Johnny is a customer of Decoratum. Well, perhaps Johnny might want to buy this. because Yeah, you've been uh, down the forum and seen him? Uh, no. Me, me and Johnny don't really see eye to eye, it has <laughs> to be said. Um, uh, we, we can go into that off camera. Um, this, however, was a note that was posted to Holy Moly uh, yeah. a couple of years ago uh, from his brother, Willie Burrell, the lesser known uh, Burrell brother. Uh, it says, Holla to the lovely people at Holy Moly. I hope all is well. Many thanks for the articles. All the best, Willie Burrell. I, I made this with, crafted this with my own hands, and I could knock out 30 of these a week. No bish bosh, no problem. Uh, and I think you're the man to kind of sell Lionel. 
Oh my God, look at Lionel. I can see I'm a little bit worried copyright. Do you not think, is it a bit fuzzy the bear with? Shh, 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 shh. No, no, no. No. Well, he's Australian for a start. Ah. So, you know, he's, he's kind of like, right, just pretend I'm not here. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Jesus Christ! Jeff, it's the salmonizer! So we've got Lionel, we've got Willie Burrell's autograph, yeah. we've got a Fight Club soap, and we've got Alistair Griffin's uh, lemon curd. Out of those, are there any there that kind of pique your interest in terms of selling it alongside your, your beloved artifacts? Yeah, um, in no particular order. Mm -hmm. Retail, somewhere between £1,000 and £1,200 is what any of the other dealers would pay for this. Well, I wouldn't pay, I'd probably pay a little bit less. Um, I just don't have any gloves, and I, I just, just, let me just put it on there because I don't want to put any sweat on it. Okay, fine. Okay, I would say that the writing alone, without the signature, yeah, probably two to three thousand pounds. Unfortunately, what spoils it yeah. is the signature. It's not. Top, it's not Johnny, is it? Correct. Probably eighteen quid. <sighs> maybe. Uh, maybe twenty pounds. Oh, will you, mate? We now go on to Fight Club soap. Yes. Uh, is it the original or is it your own? It's, no, it, well, uh, it's, it's my own, but it's from, uh, it's from, it's one of the w ones that they used in the film. Right. Let me have a look. Like, I bought, I bought three of them. If you couldn't get, if you couldn't get £27.50 for that, you should not be in 27, business. Brad Pitt might have actually touched that. Is it a set, you got a set of three? Uh, I had a set of three. I gave one to Tim, who's filming, and I gave one to my dear good friend, Jerome. Right. Had you have kept them, as, uh, would you be able to get them all back as a set of three? Uh, possibly not. Set of three, you're probably talking about 18 to 20,000 quid. Tim, I need that soap back. Get this little fellow copyrighted, and I think you're probably talking around 120 quid a shot. Wow. Uh, 100 quid. Yeah, that's pretty good. Any gossip on the other... And on the other kind of valuers. So okay, what's, well, what's right. Gordon like? First? Gordon. Gordon I've known for more years than I care to remember. He was my best man Wow! at my wedding 31 and did, years ago. My first wedding. I haven't had a second wedding, but... Uh, uh, There's still time. Yeah. There's still time indeed. Anyone right. out there? Emma. Emma. Yum. Yumptious Emma. And I'll be the first person to say, in no uncertain terms, she is pissing me off big time. Eight weeks, twittering like mad, me, two and a half thousand loyal Twitter followers. Yeah, they're very loyal. Emma, 20 tweets, double the amount of followers. What do I do there? Just uh, wear, wear, wear leather underpants? I, yeah, wear leather trousers, yeah. uh, do that kind of, that smile that she does where her mouth turns down but she looks like she's smiling. And the last one is Andrew. Andrew. When I first knew that Andrew was going to be on the show. He is a miserable bastard. Yeah. He really He comes is. across as a rock, oh, wet he's weekend. awful. He was, I, there was no way he was going to, I knew he was going to be rubbish. Yeah. It would be rude of us not to go for a little walk around and have a look at some of the, some of the bits and pieces you've got here. And is that okay with you? I'm ready when you are. Brilliant. I'll get my checkbook out. Oh. Uh, can you, can you, can you, West? He's been in here? He, uh, four, five weeks ago, bought the most amazing table. Just, uh, I'm not sure whether he likes it. I think he might, well, I've got a feeling that he's decided he doesn't want it and uh, he wants to, uh, he wants a credit note for something else. But, cool bloke. What a cheapskate. Yeah. Can you believe that? 